hi, this is Julia Bidaholik, and in this video, I'm excited to introduce you to the Swarovski Innovations Spring Summer 2017 release. Now, I say this every uh, video that I do for the Swarovski releases. It is 2017 for the release, but these are available right now at Bidaholik. So the launch consists of some really interesting shaped beads and pendants, as well as a new pearl, and a couple new colors as well, and then these really interesting little flat backs. There are also some pave pendants and pave be charmed beads that I'm gonna show you in a separate video. So I really wanna start with some of these really intriguing shaped pendants. Now for these, Swarovski paired with Celine Cousteau, who is an environmentalist and filmmaker. She's also the granddaughter of ocean explorer Jacques Cousteau. And we can really see that nature influence in these guys. So in my hand here, I have two different pendants. The first one is the radiolarian pendant. Now this was inspired by a microscopic organism that's found in the ocean, and you can really see that influenced by the irregular shape, the different types of facets on here, and the partially frosted finish as well, which you see back here. And this measures 34 millimeters. It really does catch the light very interestingly. It's got that nice big hole up top. Then we also have the sea snail pendant. This is a small size. It's gonna come in two sizes. I have the 14 millimeter here on the table, and then it's also available in a 28 millimeter size. And you can see it too is partially frosted, and it's a great nautilus shape. I really like the small size because you can incorporate that very easily into earrings. A couple of the other interesting shapes, and this one I adore, is the little scarab bead. So there's a hole down the center, so you're gonna be able to really easily string that. Comes in a couple different finishes, including the Crystal Scarabaeus Green, which is so pretty in this instance. And this guy is a nice petite 12 millimeters. And then probably one of the most talked about beads that is part of this release is the Panther. So this guy comes in two different sizes. We have the 14 millimeter and the 19 millimeter. You can see the size comparison here. It's got a hole down the center, and it's really an interesting, very angular geometric shape, an interesting interpretation of the sleek feline. So this is something that you would definitely use as a focal piece and really make some statement jewelry out of. So those are the different shapes of beads, and pendants, I should say. And now I wanna show you the new pearl, and then I'm gonna to get to the new color, which is graphite, and also the other new color, which is yellow opal. Now the pearl I've gone ahead and I've placed on this nice gray mat so you can really see it because it is a white pearl. It is crystal pearlescent white and it almost looks like a frosted mother of pearl finish. It's rarely glowy, which I like, and it tends to take on whatever color you pair it with because you see that shimmer, which is just kind of shimmering a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of green. So here I have a couple different sizes of coin pearls. And then in the round, I have a three millimeter, four millimeter, five, six, eight, ten, and this wonderful big 12 millimeter. And before I go on, I do want to pair it with a couple colors just so you can see how it really does pick up colors. So here I have this really pretty blue tone. And when you put it next to it, it does feel a little bit more blue. I'm going to do the same for pink. I have an Indian pink. And again, almost becomes more of a pinkish pearl when you do that. So a really interesting finish on that one. I think it's gonna be really versatile. You could also use it for bridesmaid or wedding jewelry as well. Now the two new colors, and these look great together because they're so contrasty. You have this super bright yellow opal, and then you have this really nice, calm, neutral graphite. So the graphite itself is a really lovely dark gray. You can see it comes in a couple different shapes. You've got these wonderful pendants as well. And what I do like about it is when it has an AB finish, as you see here, it does really take on a totally different look. So here's just the graphite without an AB, and here's the AB. And I do want to give you some ideas of what you might pair this with. I think it would go really great with all metal finishes, but I think it looks particularly well with a really nice bright silver. Of course, it's gonna go nicely with the yellow. 
But let's say you're doing a piece of evening jewelry and you want it to be a good transition color. And that's gonna be perfect if you're pairing it with Crystal Silver Night and Jet, because you can put this in the middle and it's gonna create a really nice fade, almost an ombre effect, which is something we really haven't had before when we're doing gradation with the Crystal Silver Night and the Jet. So that's a fun pairing. And then I would also consider pairing it with a lot of the same colors I'm gonna show you here to pair with the yellow opal, but I've got Indian pink. You can see how pretty that is. It's very bright and poppy, but it looks really nice. I've got light rose if you wanna do something for spring. And then I've even got turquoise, which I'm gonna show you here for the yellow opal, but that could be really pretty as well. And these are if you're wanting to make it a little bit lighter for spring. And of course, there's a whole bunch of really nice dark rich colors like purple velvet that you could do evening jewelry for. And I know I've mentioned a lot about the yellow opal and it is really, really bright and vibrant. It's a good, happy color. So Swarovski has let us know that they were inspired by the natural gemstone citrine for this, which is a very intense, beautiful gemstone. And we really see that color here come out in its intensity. It's quite bright. So I've got chatons, I've got some flat backs, zillion pendants. These would look great hanging from earrings. And we've also got bicones and rounds. So I do want to show you the color pairings here. Here it is with a light turquoise, a light rose, again that Indian pink, and then also keep in mind the different opal colors. So we've got a couple different Swarovski opal colors here as well that I think that looks really nice with. This would also be a really good flower center. Let's say you're doing some type of jewelry project, perhaps bead weaving, where you're creating flowers and you want a nice intense centerpiece. These would be perfect for that. And do keep in mind the pairing of the two new colors for this launch, the yellow and the graphite. And then last but not least, I have these little concise flat backs. So how these differ from traditional flat backs is that they have a lower flatter profile. And I think that helps to catch the light. I think they're super bright and shiny, which is really wonderful and what you usually want in a nice flat back. I know I've gone through these fairly quickly. If you want more information on them or some project ideas, please check out beadaholic.com.